Hey, hi friends. Welcome back to Bow Automation Lab once again. Let's continue this session related to the API testing and API automation. Okay, and the in the previous session, we have learned what is mean by uh, API. Why does we use APIs? And uh, we have seen some examples related to the APIs. We have also understand what, what is the API documentation and why uh, API documentation is important. Also, uh, we have learned what is web services and how does it works. We have seen some example related to the uh, web services also. And uh, we have also understand the communications methods and everything. Okay. In this, uh, actually, this is the last session of this theoretical part of this API and web services. From the next session, we'll start doing the like practical example of APIs and uh, API automation. Okay. So, first of all, let's understand the difference between the API and web services in this session. Okay. So, I have created one table uh, for the simple understanding purpose. So, these are the features of API uh, and web services. And uh, let's check which uh, these features are fit in, fits for API and uh, web services. Okay. So, first uh, feature is works offline or online. So, API and, and means the uh, application programming interface. It works offline, uh, offline and the web services works online. Just understand that this is different and keep it in your mind because these are very important uh, interview questions. Okay. Let's understand about the API and web services. Is it platform independence? Yes. The API is platform independent, works on the specific system. And the web services platform independent work on any system because it's uh, working on over the internet. Okay. So, so it's working on any system. How it communicates? So use a programming language for the communication in the API application programming interface, but in the web services users uses standard protocols like HTTP, SOAP and REST. We'll understand what is meant by the SOAP, REST and HTTP. Okay, later, just uh, watch this all the session very carefully. So you will not miss anything. So main purpose of uh, APIs helps uh, in the software development and the web services helps the different system communicate over the network or internet, simple. So scope of use used within applications and the web services used to connect the remote systems. Okay. How it's invoked. So called like a function in a program uh, to invoke and uh, access via a uh, network request. How uh, it's shared. So can be shared as a file like dot jar dot uh, deal and uh, shared over the internet or network. You understand that like Selenium also one standalone jar. All these are the offline APIs because we have the bunch of code integrated in the one jar. It's called as an API application programming interface. It's a one offline API, simple. So functional functionality has more functions and features has a fewer of functions and mainly for the communication purpose, web services is used. So this is the exactly main difference between the web services and API. Now let's understand web service. So web services use uh, Two protocols we are most using on the rest you rest protocol in the entire the session why we are using i will also explain that one because web services contain two protocols one is a soap and second one is the rest hmm? so this is simple uh, object access protocol and rest is the new one so this soap is the little older protocol okay is the simple object access protocol and rest, uh, rest is a representational state transfer so it, it's a new lightweight and uh, the communication methods for this is uh, JSON and the SOAP is uh, for SOAP communication method is XML. Okay. This is the lightweight and newly introduced. So we'll uh, communicate with the REST API itself. So what is the REST? So REST is, REST is a representational test transfer is a way for the different computer system to communicate with each other, other over the internet. It follows a set of rules to make a request and receive the response. Simple. Uh, which type of setup tools we'll see that uh, one by one but uh, we are mainly mainly focus on, focus on this rest services in this entire session okay so key features of rest is use http methods get post put delete for the communications work uh, with the json or xml format for sending receiving the data so this is very important it's a uh, it's it's a javascript object nation is the json and it's a simple Lightweight protocol, we can use this for the for the sending the and receiving the data, JSON uh, and or XML language. These are the two important uh, formats we are sending this request like a gate, post, put, delete. 
okay key features in the rest using http methods so these which are the http methods most commonly used get post put and delete for the communication methods and works with a json or xml format so xml is mainly used for the soap but uh, for the rest we are always use json maximum time okay we can use the xml as well but the maximum time we are using json because it's a lightweight and it's a uh, it's a javascript object nation and uh, it's a easier way to communicate with the sending and receiving data simple so let's understand some http method so post is the simple uh, if you want to create some data on the server you can use the post used to add a new data on the database server database or server example creating new user if you want to register any user if you go to the any uh, like website and you want to any standard website and you want to register your username there so you have to use the post method because you are submitting some data on the server uh, it is more secure more reliable because it's not creating any cache on the user system whatever communication will be done on the server side only okay so this is the post method now let's say update data this is the put method we have to use to updating data for example you want to use or modify existing data completely example updating user details like email for example we have registered the data with username email password mobile number and all those things okay etc but you want to modify your mobile uh, email id from that particular uh, data whatever you used in this post method then you have to use this put method to use uh, or modify that particular email id or whatever data you have submitted on the server simple so this is the put method which is important in http methods now let's understand the get method so get is for the fetch the data from the server used to retrieve the data uh, from the server example viewing the user profile for example whenever you are uh, registered uh, this user and updated that user and you want to just uh, like uh, open this user profile you will uh, uh, use this get method because uh, because you want to get the uh, retrieve the data from that server but gate is not that much of secure because i will explain it in the next lectures as well, uh, as well but just understand the gate will be seen the parameters in url only and it's catching the systems whenever you are like uh, see the click here links on the any website or the click me on the link uh, click here link or anything you will see that when you open that page uh, it will first of all it will go the request to the server and it will show you or display you that page but after you uh, after uh, next time once you click on that particular uh, click here link it will not go to the request not go to the server it will just uh, create the cache of that page and it will get the response from your system only so this gate method will be caching your system okay so that that's the reason and all the parameters will be sent via url only okay so that's the reason gate will not much secure so post uh, is the most reliable method as compared to the gate but gate is most faster because it's creating a cache in user system and retrieving data if you not uh, if you want to display some data to the user which is not that much of secure then we can go for the gate method simple and last one this is the delete method it's for the removing data used to delete data from the server example removing your user account if you if you created account here you are updated account here you are getting that information from that account for using gate method but if you want to delete that account then you can you simply use the uh, delete method is delete http method to delete uh, the data from the server so using delete method you can delete whatever required data from the server remove user account example this is the remove user account so this that's all this is about the http methods and uh, exact difference between uh, web services and uh, api in the next lecture let's start doing the practical example of apis and api automation okay so let's continue this session in next chapter till time have a great day bye bye take care